Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me for today's Balance Pad Workout. My name is Lissy and I'm going to be guiding your session today. If you do not have a balance pad, everything we could do can still be done on the regular floor and if you also are looking for an easier modification, any of the balance things that we do on the balance pad, go ahead and just step off and do the same balance movements on the floor until we build up to being able to use the balance pad completely. I have one set of dumbbells for a set of rows that we're gonna do. Other than that, grab some water, get your workout started on your fitness tracker, and let's begin. Our first warm up movement here, we're gonna go alternating, stepping up, arms are gonna reach up, and then we're gonna drive that knee up for a crunch, stepping off, and alternating into the other side. It's gonna be one minute for this. Let's start right now. So we're getting a nice big inhale up, exhale, crunching that knee in, and then alternating your step up and coming up with the other side. Big reach with those arms, a little balance here on that standing leg as we drive that knee forward. <sighs> Getting an exhale as the knee comes up, really drawing that belly button in towards your spine. Nice long reach with your arms. <sighs> Good. If you need to, we can also modify and take it to just a step touch here until you build up that confidence to bring the foot a little higher off your balance pad. And let's go 15 more seconds here. Whew. Big reach, big crunch, big exhale. Good. Let's go last three two, one. All right. We're going to take it down to your floor, down to the mat. And I'm going to use my balance pad kind of as a little bit of a support for my back. So I'm actually going to have it set up lengthwise versus the wider kind of shorter side here, right behind my hips. And we're going to use this as a little assistance to do our elbow to knee crunch. We're going to do these for 60 seconds bringing the upper body all the way up and connecting elbow to opposite knee. Your time starts now. Exhaling as you come up. Inhale back. Finding that connection between the knee and the elbow. Modified version, you can keep your back in contact with the balance pad and pull the knee in a little further. Good job. Remember to breathe with it. Inhale as you open back. Exhale, coming together. Good. Really feeling that engagement in the lower abdominals here. As we sit up nice and tall, keeping the elbows open wide. Coming up on the last 10 seconds, doing good. Don't go faster than you're able to breathe with it. Last three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna take it up onto your feet and we're gonna get into a split stance archer row. Go ahead and grab one of your dumbbells. We're gonna set your front foot on the balance pad. Back foot is going to reach back with heel lifted, just like all of the other split stance exercises we've done. Taking a little hinge forward here. And I'll show you from the side now. Front foot on, back foot here, feet are still hip distance apart. You can use your free hand here, wherever you need to help with the balance. We're gonna go for a row, and then we're gonna continue to rotate as if you're pulling on a bow and arrow here. So we're gonna do 10 on one side, we'll switch the feet, 10 on the other side. All right, and here we go, taking a little hinge forward, exhale in the row, adding a little extra rotation here. Steady on the balance. So the ankle on this front foot is really having to stabilize. 
You see the foot moving around quite a bit. Getting that exhale on the pull. The more you rotate, the more challenging the balance becomes. Let's do five more on this side. Four, turning that chest to open. Three, steady, eyes in one spot. Two, last one. Perfect, go ahead and switch the front leg. Switch the weight into the opposite hand. Here we go, exhale, pull, getting a rotation. Two, staying heavy on the heel of the front foot. Three, drawing that belly button in, core tight. Five, here we go. Six, seven, lots of stabilizing for the ankle, the knee the hip, last two, nine, and here's 10. All right, nice work. Go ahead and set your weight down. We're gonna leave the balance pad right here and we're gonna take it to push-ups. So the balance pad, we're just gonna use as a guide to bring the chest all the way down to touch the balance pad. If you wanna modify your push-ups from your knees, you're more than welcome to. Hands are gonna go right on the outside here. We're gonna go for 10 push-ups. Making sure core stays tight, hips stay tucked, and let's go for 10 push-ups. Here we go. Inhale coming down. Two. Three. Four. Good job. Five, make contact every time. Six, if you need to, modify at the knees. Get as low as you can. Seven. Eight. Good, last one. 10, nice job. Okay, shake your wrists out. Let's go ahead and bring it back up onto your feet. Balance pad, we're gonna set it off to one side. And we're gonna get into a speed skater landing on the balance pad on one side. We're gonna go one direction for 10 repetitions, and then we'll go the other direction. So just as a little preview, right? Your speed skaters are your lateral hops, side to side, just as if you were speed skating, but we're gonna land on the balance pad on one side here. All right, let's go 10 on one side. Ready? Here we go. So we're getting a little exhale. If you want, you can stabilize by setting the back toe down. If you feel good, work on not putting that back foot down. Here's three. Arms are gonna sweep to the side that you're jumping to. Good. Five. Six. Lots of bend into the knee on the landing. Seven. Stabilize before you jump off. Eight. Nine. One more, here we go. 10, stick that landing. Good, switch the balance pad to the other side. 10 more, here we go. Little exhale. One, two, three. Set that back foot down if you need to, to help stabilize the balance. The wider you jump, the harder this also gets. I think that was five. Six, I might do one extra here. Seven, eight, good job. Keep your chest tall. Nine, here's 10, stick the balance. Good job, shake those legs out. Okay, let's center up your balance pad here. Very challenging on the balance on this one. So again, if we need to modify, do this on the floor. If you need to modify, and you wanna stay on the balance pad, we can just lightly keep the toe down on this supporting leg here. We're gonna go for single leg balance ghost slams. And I say ghost slams because we don't have a medicine ball or you may not have a medicine ball at home. So we're gonna get a big reach up with the arms and throw the arms down, follow through into a squat as if you had 
a medicine ball to throw, okay? So we're gonna go 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Here we go. Nice big inhale up, big reach, and then throw down. <sighs> inhale up, throw down. <sighs> the sweep of the arms is gonna make this very challenging four, the harder you throw those arms down, five, the harder the balance gets, six, seven, good, steady, eight, feel that burn building, nine, and 10, oh man, good, shake that leg out, let's take it to the other side, I'll show you a modified version here, lightly keeping that toe down for support. Big reach up, throwing down. One. Two. Three. Let's see if we can get the balance here. Four. Here we go. Take your time, no rush. Five. Six. You have one spot to stare at, that helps. Seven. Eight. Big inhale. Nine. Last one here, you got it. 10. Balance, hold it, good. Okay, go ahead and step off of your balance pad. We're gonna go down onto your stomach and we're gonna get into a Superman back extension. So we're gonna use the balance pad just to give a little bit more elevation. So our body has to come up off the floor just a little bit higher to strengthen up that low back a little bit more than when we do our Supermans on the floor. So we're gonna find a spot here. I'm going long ways on the balance pad, coming down onto my stomach. We wanna find somewhere that we can be balanced. We'll go arms up to the top here. We'll go for a test one just to make sure we're at a good balance point when the arms and the legs come up. Perfect, okay, so let's go for 10 of these. You can start with your forehead rested, arms rested, legs rested, exhale on the way up, coming up, arms right by the ears, squeezing the glutes, come down and relax. Exhale up, inhale down. Four, lots of squeeze in the glutes at the top. Lift through the back of the shoulders. Five. Six. You're gonna start feeling a little fatigue into that low back, which is okay. We're going nice and slow and controlled. Eight. Nine. One more, last one. Get a nice hold at the top, arms lifted, reaching in both directions, and come down and relax. Good work. Last one here. Let's go ahead and bring it back up onto your feet. We're gonna come down into a body weight squat. This one is actually gonna be a little bit more of a mobility movement. So now that our body is nice and warm, we'll use the balance pad to get some mobility work in here. So we're gonna come down into a body weight squat, as low as you can get. If we're staying up a little bit higher, that's fine. Get down as low as you can. I'm gonna bend through my toes to drop my knee forward, kind of right in line with my big toe and my second toe. Coming back up into that squat, dropping the other knee forward. So lots of bend in the toes, allowing my knee to go over my toes. Back in and back up. Let's go for 10 of these. Here we go. Little inhale down, knee touch. If you need to use your hands on the floor, if your feet are tight, your ankles, your knees, use your hands as much as you need to for assistance. Coming down, two. Right back up, three, touch down. We're just using the balance pad to elevate the level of the floor and to also push in the knees. Sometimes when things are tight, there's not as much control coming down. 
We want to give the knees a nice little cushion here. Again, use your hands on the floor as much as you need to. You don't have to do this as quickly as I am. You can slow it down. Take your time. This is the last one here. Let's get five more. Feel a nice little burn in the quads as well. I'm gonna switch and do my left knee first, just for fun. Good. We have last three here. Inhale down. Little exhale as you drop that knee forward. Two more. Two, perfect. Last one, take it down. Touch and touch. Nice work. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for joining me for this new balance pad workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Balance is one of those things that if we don't use it, we lose it. But the great news is it's very easy to pick it back up again with small amounts of effort. So if you know somebody who would also enjoy this video, be sure that you're sharing it with them and I will see you in the next workout. If you enjoyed this balance pad workout, make sure you're checking out this workout right here. And if you're looking for something a little different, check out this video right here.